What's up guys, this is round three, game one. Opening hand looks keepable. Two experiment ones, leatherback, Bayloth, and aspect of Hydra. Three lands. Not worth mulligating for a better opener. This is pretty good. Draw Dungrove Elder. Play my experiment one, pass it. Oh, he condescends for zero. So he's just trying to scry two here. Never seen somebody do that before. Condescend for zero. Probably at this point I was probably thinking this is gifts on given. Uh, Blue white Tron. Because that's the only deck I know of that runs condescend. Get in for one. Play my other experiment one. Probably a misplay here by not trying to evolve my experiments with like a Leatherback Bayloth or Dungrove Elder. I don't really need to keep Vines the Vastwood up since he only has islands. The worst you could do is like bounce something. So with like a repeal. So I probably, I, yeah, I definitely misplayed here. Should have just tried to evolve him. Play Dungrove Elder since I have two in hand. And he looks like he's going to counter it with Condescend. So I guess in the end it didn't really matter. So now I play my Leatherback Bailoff before combat, evolving the experiments. Get in for four. He thirsts for knowledge at the end of my turn. Discarding Expedition Map. Him discarding Expedition Map leads me to believe he probably has a Tron next turn. Play my Dungrove Elder. Going to try to swing for 10 here. He repeals one of the experiment ones. Could have saved it with Vines of Vastwood, but uh, I'd rather... It doesn't change. I wasn't swinging for lethal, and I'd rather have the Vines for Dungrove Elder, who has Hexproof next turn. So I'll just replay the experiment. Pass it back to him. He uh, There's for Knowledge. Again, what does he discard? A borrow and fabricate. Search your library for an artifact card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. So, four cards left in hand. He probably has everything he needs, is my guess, since he discarded a tutor, basically. There's Treasure Mage. He's getting Platinum Angel. But it looks like I'm going to win here. Platinum Angel's turn too late. I just alpha and he concedes. Okay. 
game two. Open hand, three lands, no one drop, and two dismembers, which are kind of fine against like a worm coil engine or platinum angel, so I kept. Figured uh, this blue white Tron or mono blue Tron kind of slow. So I can afford not to have a one drop threat. Oh, there's Dried Militant anyway, so it all worked out. Oh, he dismembers it. Which is actually, that would have turned two Strangle guys hit him for four and he just dealt four to himself anyway, so that's actually doesn't, I don't lose tempo. Technically, and there's condescend for one. That's worse for me now. Though I still have a threat in hand, I can play next turn plus rancor it in the same turn. Talisman of dominance. I got a feeling he's probably gonna have a counter for this colonial tusker. But I can't really afford to play around a counter spell. And it resolves. So. Looking alright here. Uh, there's Oblivion Stone. Uh, so. Kind of has me on lockdown here. And he just puts a fate counter on Talisman of Dominance. Dismembers the Tusker. It's not looking good now. I don't have another threat. And even if I did, it'd just be destroyed by the stone. There's Dungrove Elder. I'm going to play it. Make him use the Oblivion Stone. That way in the next, if I draw another threat, it'll be safe. Unless he has another one. Ten mana. Mind Slaver. Yeah. I conceded because he's going to control my next turn. I think I, looking back though, I think I conceded a little prematurely since he had sacked and he doesn't have Academy Ruins out, which means he wouldn't be able to get it back. But I conceded anyways. Probably conceded a little too early. All right, game three of round three. Open hands, full of threats, and lands. I can cast everything, so pretty good keep. He plays Power Plant and Expedition Map. I draw another forest. Just going to get in for two here. He plays an island, which is, I mean, now you can counter something or bounce something, but it's just better than like a tower or a mine. Hers is mine. At least he went on turn three Tron, which I mean, against like a mono blue Tron deck, I don't know how great turn three Tron actually is. He doesn't, I don't think he's running Karn, but he is running Worm Coil Engines, so. Oh, and he's running Platinum Angel, so yeah, it's still pretty good. I wouldn't play Platinum Angel without like Counterspell backup though. And he sacks Expedition Map. 
Searching up tower. You cast bottle gnomes, sacrifice bottle gnomes, you gain three life. Just trying to, looks like he's just trying to stall me out long enough to land a unbeatable threat. I'll play the Leatherback Bayloth. My board's looking really good here. He's at six life. Got him down to two. He uh, plays Thirst for Knowledge. Discarding Worm Coil Engine. He there's for knowledge again. This time discarding Platinum Angel. So and he concedes, so we won round three. I'll see you in round four.